Welcome to another week of trading. This is for the month of July 2024. Earnings season has officially kicked off and this was also the first Monday coming off of the assassination attempt of Trump. I mean just crazy stuff. So I was curious to see how this would affect the market this week. Obviously DJT was popping and moving but my first trade goes to the Macy's. This gap down on news about them terminating buyout talks with its investors. I believe it was Ark House and Brigade. Initially looked like it was trying to get bought, but shorted it under the 2 minute bars low after it failed to break out over the 1. Then added a bit to it as it broke down on the 1, 2, 3 on the 5 and ended up killing those added shares as it immediately failed on the breakdown and decided to let the original shares play out. While that was baking in the oven, I picked up some CXW. This was gapping along with the DJT because I guess it could benefit off of Trump's presidency. I got some as a breakout on the 5 after a shakeout bar. Kind of a big stop but gave it a shot. Then back to the Macy's. It wasn't really moving so I ended up lowering the stop and trailing out over the 15 minute. Then once I saw the CXW get some follow through, I took half under the 2 minute. It wasn't up much since I used a bigger stop but took some off that pop. Then Lucid, which wasn't a gap but went parabolic on the daily and was selling off today. So tried it for a quick scalp short under the base but was difficult to get filled on so ended up letting it go. Then took the rest of the CXW under the 15 minute but I misread the price and it actually never took it out. So that was a mistake on my part and was not the right exit. But would have trailed anyway as it rolled over on the 15 so in the end it worked out I actually made an extra penny on it. Then towards the end of the day I did get filled some on the lucid this time and was looking for one last breakdown here off this base but never did didn't even budge a penny so just killed it as the market closed and called it a day. Tuesday my first trade was the FNKO which gapped down and I didn't realize it but it might have been a secondary offering. So when I tried it under the 1 minute it flipped immediately and the spread opened up to like 10 cents. Thankfully I only tried it with a thousand shares so didn't get hurt on it too bad but still felt dirty. Then Schwab gapped down on earnings and got in it short under the 1 minute. Kind of similar to that setup from the Macy's yesterday after that failed breakout but decided to get in at half size here and was looking to add to it later once that I got some follow through and if it could stay weak. But it never gave a good chance to add and ended up trailing the shares I had over the 1 minute. I also tried the PSNY which is a penny stock just for a scalp. Worked great but of course I didn't get filled. I then went back to the Schwab and had an order out to reshort it under the 5 minute base but cancelled it once I noticed the market turned bullish and was getting bought. Ended up working of course. Then I noticed the DNA popping today. So I tried scalping it both long and short as it looked like it was topping out. Then also the Lumen which was on the carryover list from last week. This thing has been waking the fuck up recently. Had a 15 minute breakout so tried some long over the high of the day. Ended up popping a few cents but didn't have much size since I wasn't expecting it to move much. And took it pretty easy this afternoon. So didn't do much else and locked in my 2 R's and called it a day. Then Wednesday I watched the ASLN for just a quick scalp at the open. It gapped down because they got a delisting notification but once I saw the spread opened up I said nope and killed it once I saw the offer come back into my entry price. I also liked the 5 short, it gapped down on the downgrade, super bearish daily and tried some short under the 1, 2, 3 off the 2 minute but used the bigger stop because of the spread and was looking to add to it if it can break the 5 minute. And ended up popping instead and stopping out for a small loss. Glad I sized it to the bigger stop. Then I kept an eye on it and reshorted it off the 15 minute after the failed breakout. Full size this time but still a big stop. Finally ended up following through this time and trailed it off the 5 minute. Then I saw the save selling off making new lows on the daily. No real setup here it was just stair stepping lower on the 5. So jumped in to ride the momentum. Very late here of course and ended up being the bottom and popped against me. Felt like it was almost waiting for me to get in before bottoming here. Then I meant to get the laser short but I ended up shorting the Fudu by mistake and of course it was bottoming on the intraday. Also had 10 cents spread so I managed it the best I could off the level 2 and just try to get out without getting hurt. And then I got a bit greedy because I could have actually made some money on it as it looked like it wanted to come in off the sell setup on the 5 for a small drop. But like I said it was pretty spready so once that spread opened up again I ended up taking a loss on it. 
I also scalped the DNA, the penny stock from yesterday, which is from my carryover list. Pretty slow week so far. Not a whole lot of follow through on my plays. But Thursday, got some of my blood flowing. First trade was Nokia right out of the gate. This gap down on earnings and tried it short under the one minute as a scalp since it was an ADR. Worked for a few cents, but was way undersized. Then I moved on to the Les L, which was one of my top watchers, but got bought at the open. But when I noticed it came back to the lows and started basing, that's when I decided to try a short as a breakdown under the one. Looked good on the initial drop, but bounced right back up. I did only get partially filled since it was on an uptick. So I ended up taking the order down and just decided to keep what I had and let it play out. Ended up working out and took it over the five minutes to lock in the profits. Then I saw the bros selling off hard and played it long over the five minute for a bounce. Not the best looking setup here since the 20 of May wasn't too extended. So I tried it with only half an R. Definitely was struggling to go. And with the 20 May catching up, I decided to trail it under that five minute bar. And of course, this shook me out and to infinity and beyond it goes. I feel like I always have better results on these counter trend plays when I don't manage it. So going forward, I might just kind of do a all or nothing management. Either I'm stopping out or waiting till this thing gets to target. Then the SPWR was selling off from news about them pausing some new product shipments. I don't know if somebody fucked up on the quality of the products or what, but I decided to short it on the 15 minute breakdown. And this one worked beautifully. No shakeouts, no sweat, just a smooth ride down. So finally, I feel like I caught a really nice play for the first time this week. Then didn't do much else in the afternoon since the action died down. Then Friday, I continued to watch the SPWR because it did gap down again this morning, but was only available on E-Trade. And with how fast this thing dropped at the open and how slow E-Trade is, I couldn't get filled much on it, but I did end up making a few hundred bucks on it. Ended up trailing way too early and couldn't reshort it once it broke a dollar. E-Trade doesn't allow shorting penny stocks. So I watched it to flip it long and got in it long here. Definitely felt like a bottom, not just with today's selling, but including the big sell off from yesterday as well. Ended up trailing out because I used a pretty tight stop and got out as the one minute was triggering a sell setup. So pretty much gave back whatever I made on the short at the open. Then I went after the Corsair, which reported weak preliminary results. I use and like their products, so no hard feelings, but T2S, time to short. Got in off the two minute breakdown, and I think they take it personally because it didn't end up going, so I trailed it off the 15. Then the SPWR actually became available on toss here and there. Some orders went through, some got rejected, but ended up scalping it as it continued to sell off. Also tried scalping the Les L short from yesterday as well, which was heading back down to yesterday's low. And then the SPWR was very choppy on the way down, but was able to make back the loss from this morning, plus an R on top to finish off the trading week. So there you have it, up over 14 Rs this week. Earnings season just kicked off, so things haven't really picked up yet, but it'll definitely get busier these next few weeks. That's gonna do it for me. Hope you're doing well in your trading. As always, I appreciate you being here and hope to see you on the next one. Peace. Let's see how you do under pressure, oh Yeah, I've been wanting this shit forever I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better Okay, hey. yeah. Ain't no errors, baby, it's a new era I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm Kesha I get to the paper, boy